Dude, you're the guy in the Tupac. barbershop that has the beanie on the whole time and everyone's arguing and you're talking and then they're like, dog, let's just cut his hair so he gets out of here and then you take your beanie off and you're f***ing bald, dude. Welcome back to Raccoon Tweeties. Thanks for tuning in. You and me, we just got back from, some would call it vacation, some would call it work. Yeah. I mean, I guess it was a little bit of both, right? Yeah. Where did you go? I was in Phoenix and then Modesto. Modesto. Not everybody knows Modesto, but if you do, it's California. You might remember Gary Condit, the congressman, which, not to put you on the spot, right? I quizzed you about that. Yeah. You didn't remember Chandra Levy? She got donked off? Nope. R.I.P. Rest in peace. That's the only thing I know about Modesto. How was Modesto? Uh, Modesto, or as I like to call it, the land of threes. <laughs> Ain't a cute person there, dude. Oh, really? It's a bunch um, of uggos? Yeah, yeah, dude, a bunch of these people. Damn, good douche. I don't even like saying it out loud, dude. <laughs> With like, um, just no, no hot person in sight. I was surprised, dude, honestly. Yeah. I was like, it eventually happens, right? You know, you go, you're in Arlington, everyone's ugly, but then you're like, what the fuck, <laughs> right? Hey, man, wait a minute. That's it's, where I'm from. Especially people from Arlington. Oh, man. Right? Damn. But it just didn't happen, dude. I had some good pizza, though. The pizza was amazing. But it's like, you're going to make good pizza if there's no hot chicks, right? Why do you say that? Because you, you have to have something to fuck, dude. You're going to fuck the pizza? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Fuck that pizza up, All right, daddy. well, something happened to Gerardo's brain in, <laughs> yeah. in Modesto. But it was the, how, how was it? Did you do anything? Is there anything to do in Modesto besides? I'll say Phoenix show? was cooler than Modesto. Modesto right. is just like, everyone's talking about like, Modesto's not that bad. I'm like, this is the worst city I've ever been to. Right. Shout out Modesto. I love you guys. Yeah, I will. What what did you do in Phoenix? Phoenix, we fucking we went to an arcade bar, dude. Oh, we, yeah. I played a whole bunch of Galaga and fucking What's Finish Galaga? Line. Galaga is an old school game, dude. It was like, like a, is it one of the spaceship games? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. And then I do know what you do. Where you like, you go in a line and you go shoot shoot, and it's like, yep. You got to shoot the things they explode and all yeah. that. Yeah, I did like that. Ain't nobody playing Galaga and Modesto. What were you going to say? I don't really like uh, video game bars. I thought I would because mm-hmm. I like video games. I like drinking. But when you put the two together, I kind of just... It's whack, dude. I get bored so easily. Dude, we got a $20 bill, and we put it in the machine to get the coins out, like yeah. tokens. And then when I used the first token and pushed one button, I was like, oh, my God, that was way too much money because I do not want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I remember I, I went to that bar 82 or something like that when it first came out in Los Angeles. Ever heard of it? And I was all excited. I was like, man, this is so cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna have so much fun here. I'll just drink some beer and then I'm coming like, here every week, baby. I'm cu- yeah, this was my mindset going. I'm like, I'll be here seven times a week. Like I'm I can't wait. <laughs> and I put a quarter in. I was like, oh, the Homer's the Simpsons game. I used to love that when I was a kid. Same here, dude. It's been years since I played it. I put like the quarter in. I played it for about like five minutes. I was like, what are we doing here? Yeah. I'm so bored. Yeah. I do not care whether I survive or I'm hitting somebody with like a skateboard as Bart Simpson or whatever the fuck. Yep. I was like, and then I well maybe I'll go to another game. And it, I'd rather just play skee ball, and yeah. I don't want to do that either. Yeah. It's, and it's, I, I don't remember if they had the tickets, you know, when you're a kid, you get the tickets. Yeah. And all that, and you got to win a certain amount so you can go get prizes. It's all a scam because the prizes are less than how much you pay in the yep. tickets, which is great when you're a kid. When you're an adult, you're like, man, I'd rather just be like, yeah, you know, not doing uh, doing anything else than this. I don't want to pay thirty dollars for a sticky hand, dude. Right? No. What's it? You mean like uh, the prize is a sticky hand? You know the sticky hand, right? <laughs> no, why is the hit no way <laughs> yeah what what happened in fucking phoenix dude you want a a, a, hat, a hand a fake hand with cum in it dude enter all the fucking in the chat being like you don't know what a sticky hand is dude i don't all right maybe School i'm man. not saying it correctly but you know those hands that are like gooey and then you throw them against the wall and it sticks oh i love those things yeah dude sticky hand. yeah the 30 dollars seems like a lot for that yeah how did you win that 
No, I was adding on to what you said. Oh, you, it was like, one of the prizes that you'd win. Like, yeah, you spend thirty dollars and just walk away with a sticky hand, dude. dude that that's you. This is like a nostalgia show already, man. <laughs> Gerardo takes one trip, and my whole childhood comes back into play. <laughs> yeah, dude, You're doing childish activities. I'll say one no. thing though, Phoenix, heavy scooter town, dude. Dude, I you remember the scooter. Remember that one time I took a scooter here, and it was like twenty five dollars. Yeah, it was a lot. I remember it was like way too much. It was like a f- ten minute trip from my apartment to your apartment, and twenty fucking bucks on the scooter. Dude, I went around all of Phoenix like for three dollars, four dollars a pop on a scooter, dude. That's pretty good. It yeah, was I, I awesome. wonder in LA everything is more expensive. Yeah. Scootering. What is, <laughs> did you guys scooter to the show together? Oh, dude, we scootered everywhere. No, the show was like literally an hour away from the hotel. <laughs> yeah, okay. It'd be funny if like the comedians all scootered up to the show and people were watching like <laughs> Oh, those guys are performing. <laughs> well, I guess they are silly, huh? Uh, yeah, that, that is these these guys might be silly. <laughs> Get ready, dude. Ever heard of it? But no, it was dope. Shout out to everyone that came through Mike Drop Mania. Nobody from the show, obviously. Nobody likes me, dude. I don't know. Do we have fans in Arizona? If we do, you let them down. Yeah. Where were you? Mm-hmm. We were waiting. I hope you don't do that on April 27th when I'm at Flappers. <laughs> oh, shit. We forgot I to need people it. to come through. Yeah. All right? This is not a drill. This is really happening. April 27th, I'm back in Burbank, California. Ever I'm, heard of it? There you go. You better have heard of it because I talk about it and tweet about it nonstop. I'm going to fuck that stage up. There was a duck in the comments saying I'm not going to do anything. Oh, I saw you, Tetris. You didn't think I saw you? (laughs) Tetris? Oh, my God. Oh, I saw you. Now, that guy's cool. Okay. I think he was kidding around. But he's he's making a good prediction that I won't actually do anything. But it's wrong. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Because I'm going to go up there and I'm going to talk shit. This is my only opportunity. If they let me through the door, I'm going in that door. And I am gadooshing everyone I see. Josh Snyder, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. F- fade on sight, Josh Snyder. <laughs> fade on sight. I went to Palm Springs. Ever heard of it? Ooh. There's going to be a lot of ever heard of it. So yeah, dude. This is a vacation episode. You went You went to Palm Springs just for merch? Just for merch, dude. You know, everywhere I go now, mm-hmm. I'm all about merch. Yeah. Okay? Comedians, vacations, whatever it is. I mean, car places now. Yeah, Kibitech, Kibitech, for Kibitech, sure. Kibitech yeah. for life. Don't kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Overkill. Um, I love merch now, man. I don't know if it's like a combination of just like, as you get older, you get more into like knickknacks and collecting things. And then also my now fascination with comedians and their merch. Yeah. And the fact that we have no merch is so funny that we just use other people's merch. Yeah. I mean, this is this thing I just saw in the store and I was like, gotta have it. (laughs) You know, it's good for the show. This is actually a shirt. Somebody gave it to me. What's that? Uh, it says content destroyer, dude. Hmm. Is that, that's kind of like a good douche though, right? I don't know. Destroyer could be kind of like, you know, we in a good way. Like content murderer? Yeah, like the Reddit content that we look at. We're, yeah, we're like killers, dude. There's only a thousand that can do what we do. Yeah. Right? Have a podcast about Brennan Schaub <laughs> 10 minutes every week. How many can do that? So many. Yeah, dude. 250. But our, but ours is different. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. I don't know. Palm Springs was fun, dude. I went down there and with my girlfriend, stayed in a nice hotel, ate a lot of food, saw old houses and stuff. Mid-century homes is what they call it. Mm. I don't know why they make... I asked my girl, I was like, why don't they make these anymore? And she's like, it's probably not energy efficient. Mm. Right? Yeah. But back then, they didn't give a fuck about the whatever. The environment. <laughs> yeah. I have that joke where I was like, when I was a kid, all they used to tell us is you have to stop spraying the aerosol cans. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they didn't even know about that back then, dude. Frank yeah. Sinatra was fucking spraying shit and his hair. Marilyn Monroe was fucking spraying all over the place and shit, mm-hmm. dude. Fucking Liberace. Mm-hmm. Dude, don't get me started on that guy. He didn't go fuck. <laughs> he was for the environment. He dude. was spraying cum everywhere too, dude. Dude, he's fucking. Yep. And he was spraying and he was like probably diesel gas car, dude, just fucking driving around Palm Springs, fucking slinging dick. Yeah. Everywhere, dude. He didn't give a fuck. He was definitely kibbeteking more than just trucks, if you know what I'm saying. He kibbeteked all of Palm Springs. Kennedy was out there fucking. Yep. Marilyn Monroe had a house near Kennedy, had a house near Frank Sinatra, had a house near Liberace. Mm-hmm. There's fucking going on. Okay, yeah, dude. dude. That's called the Bermuda Triangle of puss. <laughs> yeah, dude. People slang dick, but not like they used to do back then. Um, and that's why I, le- I learned I learned about that at the history. I, like uh, I took in the history and it was all just about, you know, how people slang dick back then. Mm. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool period T. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Hit that when I was out there and I was looking at all these famous people and all the stuff that they've done and all the antique shops and like vintage shit. You know what I, you know what I thought? There's levels to this shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
<laughs> Did you know I was going to say that? I was going to say good. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's so many I, things you could say now. That, that, you know what? There was kind of a good situation. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a duck because I planned out this vacation because um, I had Cesar Chavez uh, off. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it ended up being like just rainy weather. You know, you go to Palm Springs, you want to like put on the shorts sandals and shit it'd be hot it yeah, was like dude. rainy the whole time dude i was like good good but the yeah. weather actually ended up being good good <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't actually bad I, I went to the i went to get a massage nice and, and i got some i was like they had it was one of those massage places that has the hot springs outside and they use their spit they yeah no they they use essential oils deep, oh okay deep. got it got it got it <laughs> so i got some essential oils in my face and my neck dude the lady was like, uh, so what pressure do you want on you? And I was like, uh, I was trying to think of a shop. I was going to go over that. But I said, I've never had a massage in my life. And she was like, okay, we'll go medium then. Ooh. Because you're a duck. Did, quack, you, quack. did you laugh at all? No, I didn't laugh at all. At one point, though, when she was like bashing my head in, because I told her that sometimes I have tension in my head, uh, I was like, I need to blow my nose. Actually, no, that was when she was squeezing my feet. She was squeezing my feet, and I, I put my head up. I was like, is it cool if I blow my nose? Because my nose is dripping on the floor. <laughs> and she was like, of course. So I blew my nose, and then I went back down, and she, like, kept doing my feet. And then I thought the massage was over, and she was like, "Can you now you can turn over. I was like, okay. Oh, um, this is what I heard about? Yeah. I, I, was so, I was so worried about, like, being weird the whole yeah. time. I was like, I don't say anything weird to the masseuse. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about. I kind of zoned out when... When she was touching my feet, I completely like lost. I don't know if I fell asleep or what, but I was like, and then my nose just started dripping, and I was like, wait a minute, where, where am I? Yeah. But uh, no, the massage was good, dude. And those those hot spring things were great. Oh yeah, hot yeah. springs are goaded, dude. Yeah, dude. I I had a good time. Um, I yeah, I shit in their bathroom like eight times. I had a couple good moments myself, dude. What happened? Uh, well, we went to uh, to Phoenix, right? And we were live on uh, TikTok having a good old time, dude. Mm. Some people were dropping like seven days a week in there and shit on, on Jesus's TikTok. Okay. And I was like, oh shit, people are out here, dude. You know? Right. Some hawks in the chat, B. Boom. And then out of nowhere, uh, Jesus ended the TikTok. He was like, all right, we got to go, y'all. <laughs> and then uh, he got an email from the booker of the show and was like, you need to sell more tickets or we're going to cancel the show. Fuck. What'd you do? Good. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then we barked the rest of the ticket. We got a lot of people to show up. So it was like, I think close to 80 people that showed up. From barking outside? Not from barking, but maybe yeah. last minute ticket sales or stuff like that. Damn, that's good. It yeah. came through at the end. And then there was another good moment. I had it in my head. I completely forgot what it was. Um, Plenty of good moments though, dude. I yeah. started bombing. You know, you know what happens when you start bombing, dude? Sweating. Laughing too much. Good. <laughs> Yeah, right. dude. Yeah. And so I saved it, dude, and saved it with some, like four fire ass jokes at the end. Right. And then I walked off, dude, I walked off stage. They were like, no, we want more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, only 250 people can do what you did. It was a lot like gambling, dude. It's like right. you may have lost some money, but then the fucking money doubled up, dude, with the funny. Um, right. The jokes doubled up. Yeah. The That's funny. Right. The funny doubled up. <laughs> Those are the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> You want to you want to get into the fucking elephant in the room, our guy. I, I was there's, there's one other thing I wanted to talk okay, about. Let's here. go. Let's go. Let's get. It. Which who's the guy? P Diddy. Oh yeah, no, we don't. I don't want to get inside that. Not elephant. one of our guys. No, not one of our guys. Dude. <laughs> but what were you gonna say? Uh, I wanted to. Sh you know, you mentioned food, yeah. and I had a heavy week of food, dude. So what did you you like? Uh, Carne asada, carne asada, chili on, different. Guacamole. How would he say guacamole? Um. Guacamole. <laughs> I had guacamole too, dude. I was surprised the hotel food. I because normally hotel food is just blockbusta, but I was tired and I didn't want to like go out anywhere. Um, I just got chips and guac from my man Gilbert at the bar. Gilbert was hooking me up the whole time. Gilbert was fucking. He was off. He was he off the cheese. There's levels to the shit. Yeah. And, you know, Gilbert picked up the bag. He made great drinks. And I was like, all right, let me give Gilbert a shot. You know, let me see, because most hotel food is bad. I was like, Gil, um, uh, can, on room 122, can you send up chips and guac and a quesadilla? And he was like, all right, but do you want a cheese quesadilla or chicken? I was like, give me with the chicken. Okay. Mm. And, then, and then, he was, then he was like, all right, but 
do you want to go plates or room service? And I was like, Gil, this is too many questions. I don't, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Yeah. Just, I guess room service. I don't know. Make it happen. Gil. I was starting <laughs> to lose faith in Gil. And they, so, cause he's Latino. What were you saying? He was all, yeah, he was Latino, <laughs> but I, I mean, it has nothing to do with me losing faith in him at all. He was great. Uh, the chips and the guac dude, Fucking okay. So first of all, guacamole fire. Mm. Second of all, chips even more fire than the guacamole. Mm. Was. Third of all, okay, because I'm a numbers guy. There was salsa. There red salsa, green salsa, and some kind of ranch deal, all in there, dude. And all of it was good. And I was like, this is a hotel. My mind was, it was blown. Mm. This is like one of the best parts of the trip. I mean, the food was not as good as restaurant food, but I was like blown away because you've had hotel food, right? Oh yeah, dude. It's the worst. It's like the worst shit there is. Sometimes there's good fries, but that's about it. There were fries too at the quesadilla, which is an interesting choice. Yeah. I was like, damn, the quesadilla comes with fries. Gil, you're blown. You're <laughs> fucking, you're the man, dude. <laughs> Gil was crushing. He was at the bar. And I remember when I called in, because I was, I was out doing some shopping and shit with the girl. And I called and I was like, I want a room service, but I wanted to be there when I got there. That's why I called before I got back to the hotel. And, uh, and the old man at the desk was like, oh, okay, let me get you in touch with uh, Gilbert then. I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Because he's been making me drinks the whole time. Yeah. Gil's just got his hands in every fucking department. He's running, he's running that whole show. Mm -hmm. The people at the front desk are probably, whenever when something fucks up, they're just like, let me fucking, what would Gil do yep. in this situation? And he just crushed it. So five stars to him. Uh, Trio, Triada Hotel. Ever heard of it? You know, shout out to them. I'll probably do Airbnb next time because... I don't know, it's probably more fun to stay in a mid-century home. Another thing that's maybe overlooked, mm. planning the trip. Yeah. But overall, great trip. You know, I got a nice sweater, fucking got some good food, went to sushi. Well, I wasn't, but I got some sushi. Okay. Right? You know? But so- What were you going to say? With all that being said, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> um, the guacamole, did it have tomato in it or no? Fuck no. That's what I'm talking about, dude. So what I was trying to say is that I found out that I'm a fucking foodie, dude. Oh, good. That's great. Welcome to the club. Baby. You're a foodie? Hell yeah. Then you might enjoy All I care about is food. Then you might enjoy this little ditty I made, dude. I can see the comments already. You're not a foodie, and then they we call you fat. Yeah. And so I mean, me too. Yeah. We're noodle arm betas, dude. All we eat is food. <laughs> yep. And so I, I want I was I was hoping you'd like this little ditty I made then, dude. Oh, you speaking, made a song? Speaking of P Diddy, right? Yeah, dude. Made a little diddle myself. Yeah. If you uh, if you would so kindly. As soon as you heard that P. Diddy was fucking his artist, you were like, I got to make music. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get some day. <laughs> 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 All right, but it's just an excerpt for the song. It's like a free trial. You got to pay for the subscription. You know okay. what I mean? So, it's behind Patreon. Yeah. Uh, it's not finished yet, really, actually, but here, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, I'm a foodie. And I'm looking for something to eat. And if you want company, you can come and join me. In my restaurant booth. Cause I'm a foodie. I spend half my day up on Yale. <laughs> Looking for sandwiches that I'll eat all by myself. Unless you're with me. Ooh. Okay. Cool. So. What does that have to do with tomatoes yeah. and guac though? No, I mean, I'm, I'm a foodie. <laughs> dude, I hear guac. I want to know if there's tomatoes in it, dude. Right, right, right. Um, Did I not just show you I'm a fucking foodie? I made a song about it, dude. <laughs> you know what? You are kind of a foodie because that song reminded me of how you introduced me to that um, Highland Park, the Jeff's Table. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah, it's hidden, dude. You know how it is hitting, but you know it's like too busy now. Oh, Because really? a TikToker covered it. Ah, oh, fuck Now TikTok, I went in there dude. the other day and they were like, whoa, 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 you have to order online. Mm. I was like, God damn it, dude. And I went outside and there's all these people with like weird colored hats and like fucking gigantic shirts and like baggy pants waiting for their ham and cheesy. I'm like, but I want my ham and cheesy That's, first. Yeah, it's fucking whack, dude. I hate yeah. TikTok, dude. TikTok ruins food, but I also, I mean, if you're in California, dude, we're, we're foodies now, so we're telling you to go to Jeff's table. Dude, uh, and I was hoping you would be able to uh, Shopify that song, dude. What? Just saying I'm a foodie? Yeah, but what is what is shop, dude? A thicky boy, right? That, yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm a I'm thicky. A thicky. You got to finish the song first, deity. Oh, that's pretty much, you know, that's basically, it's just going to be that on repeat, dude, for about four verses. Right. Did you do that on the road? No, I made that before I left. Oh, okay. Because, you know, I got struck by the fucking genie of being a foodie, right? Right. And then I was like, I'm looking for something to eat. 
Honestly, I can go on for days about the creative process of that beat right there, dude. Was the food good in Phoenix? Um, dude, Modesto had like the best pizza dough I ever tried. That's crazy. Like, yeah. what was the name of the restaurant? Uh, shout out Luigi's to go kitchen. The pizza was not good, but the dough was good. The dough was fucking bomb, dude. It was That's amazing. so strange that they had good bread but bad pizza. Yeah, they, just the sauce was plain. They fucked up the most important part, yeah. I think. I mean, it is the dough like does make the pizza, mm-hmm. but the cheese is what you get pizza for. You're not getting, you know, no one gets the pizza for the dough, right? I mean, you get pizza for pizza, dude. All of it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, all of it. But cheese is pretty important. But there was, a, like, even listen, dude, I've been rating things out of 10. That's when you know you're a foodie, dude, right? That's so, I, I imagine you telling that to the people at Luigi's, being like, you know, the dough is really good, but the rest of it sucks. They're just like. I wouldn't dare voice my opinion to them. <laughs> yeah. They were fucking Modesto men, dude. They're ready to yeah. fuck you up over anything. They probably don't give a shit about pizza. It's probably a front for meth or something. They're like, oh, I go to jail? Where else do I go? Modesto? I want to fuck you up if you tell me my pizza sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Gerard. What's your name? Geraldo? Or whatever we wrote on the thing. Mm-hmm. Jerry or whatever. I don't give a fuck, dude. This is, we fucking do fentanyl here. Yeah. Right? Pizza? Who cares? Yeah. Right? This is all about drugs. Like, oh, okay, fine. But the, and also another thing, a key indicator of seeing that it's going to be a bad pizza is pickled jalapeno. You got to have fresh jalapeno, dude. If you're getting jalapeno on a fucking pizza, dude. A lot of those shops are not going to have fresh jalapeno. The pizza shops are just like fucking delivery places now. You Two order words, Yelp. dude. Close down then, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or not Yelp. You door, like DoorDash. You know those like weird pizza shops are just open 24 7 here? And there's just like, they have like every kind of pizza and then mozzarella sticks and you're like i i guess we'll try lisa's because it's the only place open and then yeah. it's like fine but what it's such a weird thing now i bet they have it in a lot they probably have it in Mede- that's probably what luigi's did what time do you go there which time uh, you go? we went at like four four o'clock <clears throat> after a round of golf dude <laughs> okay yeah i don't know but yeah anyways the pizza like phoenix food was whatever i had a burrito Oh, dude, Yuma had the best fucking California burrito I ever tried in my life. Yeah, I remember you were saying that. Yeah. Yep. California, that just means avocados in it? Uh, avo- or, yeah, avo- or sour cream, avocado, french fries, asada is basically a California. Oh, french fries is the California yeah. thing too? Yeah. That's California funny. burrito daddy. I always think that California something means avocados in it. Right? Oh, okay. Because like, then like a California roll, and sushi-wise, means avocados in it, right? There's not french fries in it, is there? Sushi. <laughs> uh, no, there's no French fries in the California roll. That'd be so you get, you order a California sushi roll and you're like, you bring it up. You're like, where are the French fries? <laughs> what are you, what are we doing here? Like we have no French fries in our California roll. That's not Japanese. You're like, whatever, dude. Bye. You avoided the voice. I'm so surprised. I'm not going to do an Asian voice. Why not? <laughs> that was my Latino that voice. That sounded like your mom. Yeah. yeah, Is your, yeah. Mommy, your That's mom why. Japanese? <laughs> but not for long. But not for long. Um, and, and, and so I started rating things out of 10. Do you do this with food or no? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's fun, right? Yeah. But, I guess I'm not really a numbers guy. And then I do struggle with like the out of 10 to be, mm. I'm being totally honest. I usually go, oh, really good. It's all right. Yeah. Great. I do the thing where it's like, I'm the guy who's like, that was pretty good, huh? Even though it really wasn't. And then my friend or girlfriends or like, girlfriend is like, uh, yeah, it's not really that great. And I'm like, you're right. It wasn't. I'm sort of an optimist when it comes to food. I think. Yeah. So yeah. out of 10, do you do solid numbers or do you do like decimal system numbers? Like that was a 6.7 out of 10 there. Or that fucking... Oh, I never put in the points. Dude, that bugs the shit out of me, right? Who does that? And fucking shout out to my homie, Danny Lopez. Oh, he does? Yeah, dude. But get this. This is something else that he does that bugs the shit out of me, dude. Right. He, he fucking, he'd be like, so we had the California burritos and he got triggered by me saying, oh, triggered hmm. by me saying that it was the best California burrito I ever had. He's like, impossible. We're not in California, whatever, right? Okay. And he goes, uh, he, I bought him one to try. Like we cut it in half because I wanted more. Yeah. And he ate and he goes, it's really good. It's really good. It's a, oh, shit. A bunch of different ways that it's really good, right? Yeah. Like the fucking, uh, the eggs or the, the eggs, the cheese is really good. The tortilla is tasty. The sauce is great. And then he's like 7.3 out of 10. And I'm like, well, dude, you didn't say a single bad thing about the whole, th- you know, <laughs> I would go, I would go, how do you get a point three and yeah. make him describe that? I'm like, describe what that means to me. And that's and the more infuriating part is the points is the decimal system thing. Did he have a burrito in mind that was better in California? Well, apparently he did. I wasn't really listening after he said a fucking decimal. So you got to listen. Yeah. Maybe it is, dude. What do you know? 
I mean, I'm down to try it. It's fucking, exactly. This is so a win win situation right here, now, dude. dude. I'm hungry. <laughs> get him on the phone right now. <laughs> Danny, hello? This is just at the Ask Danny hotline. <laughs> Why were we going to call uh, my mom? Don't call him. Um, we were going to call your mom. Remember last week we were like, we'll call my mom for something? Vaguely sounds familiar, but I have no memory. Oh, okay. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck it. I don't know. Ask that, dude. Yeah. I mean, does she know what's going on with P. Diddy? Oh, we should probably ask her about that. I wonder if she has an opinion on P. Diddy. I doubt it, dude. But that's uh, what that's what's going on, I guess. The Diddy shit, or yeah, the bridge shit. What are your thoughts on it, dude? I really don't like. This is a, a yet again another news story where it's so confusing. The shit they'll be like, he's he's uh they they raided his house for sex trafficking. What does that mean? Mm. What is sex trafficking? Yeah, because in my mind, sex trafficking is like. Somebody is like forced, forcing people into prostitution, right? In my mind, it's like Jeffrey Epstein with black scent. <laughs> with salsa on it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what that, yeah, that's what I, that's like, that's what I think of sex trafficking. It's yeah. Jeffrey Epstein type shit. So is, are they saying that P. Diddy is doing that? Um, I guess. I mean, well, one thing that I do know is that his uh, wife, I think, his past wife or whatever, mm. she's accusing him of uh, sexual misconduct. See what I did there? Right. Because uh, he made her get banged by a bunch of dudes. I heard about that too. Yeah. I didn't know it was his ex-wife, but they, I know one of them is the Cassie. Remember yeah, Cassie. Cassie? Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cassie was accused him of like, you know, assault. And, and then that like, that for some reason isn't a criminal thing. I guess because like it was like a civil thing, mm. and like they settled for money. Like mm. he's not going to jail for that. Why isn't he going to jail for that? Do you want to look up why isn't he going to jail? I mean, you don't need to look it up, but this this is like it's very confusing to me. All of it. She sued him for this yeah. for assault, and he settled for a, a problem. I'm assuming a lot of money, and now it's gone. Yeah. As far as I know, so I don't know if th- that doesn't seem to have anything to do. With the, you might have to log into Reddit later. Yeah, but that doesn't have uh, anything to do with what he's like a charge with now. Like there was something about a drug mule. Do you remember? Do you know who the what the drug mule's name was? No, uh, Brendan. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> his drug mule is named Brendan, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I think his. Hold the, on! Hold on! Hold on! Yeah, but yeah, do do that. Uh, three Brandons. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. That's you know it's funny. That's exactly what I thought about when I saw it. And I turned to my girl. And I was like. Our friend Walsh has this bit where he's like, Brandon, I'm Brandon, I'm Brandon. <laughs> and she was like, I don't get it. No. Uh, well, this isn't really interesting. I'm trying to read out why he didn't get arrested. But this is three months ago, dude. Yeah. So he had Kim killed uh, messing with Usher. I don't know. You go Who's to jail? Kim? Um, I don't know who that is. Uh, which Kim probably even went through as well. So Kim and Cassie went through the same stuff. So did he off Biggie? Did he off Pac? I mean, come on, dude. This is my problem with new with new news stories. They never make any sense. There's never any clarity in what is the person is being accused of. It's all like, how is he? If he did, if he assaulted these people, why is he not in jail already? Yeah. Why is he being sued in a in a civil thing? Shouldn't the cops have arrested him? And then they're like, and he had he had sex with Meek Mill and Usher. What? <laughs> That's just like, yeah. Excuse me. Can CNN report on this or like a credible news source, like a New York Times or fucking New York Post? New York Post, yeah, New York Post. Something like clarify what's going on. I, I just know. don't know what to think anymore. New York Post P Diddy. Let's yeah, let's go what, to the let's go see what New the York trusted Post source. Says. That's our trusted source on this show. Yeah, all we trust is this uh, the tabloid New York Post. Secrets of Diddy's Billionaire Boys Club rapper wooed Wall Street elite who praised him as genius before sex trafficking probe. And then there's a picture of 50 Cent and Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Oh. He draws comparisons to Jeffrey Epstein. Um, yeah, basically what happened, dude, let me just give you the 411. He saw what was happening with Epstein. He's like, man, ain't nobody talking about Diddy no more. He was like, I got a bunch of traffic in myself. That's what's hot on the streets. So he's doing this for hype. Mm-hmm. He's just doing it to be relevant. Yep. In today's world, to be like relevant and big, you have to have a sex, like a sex scandal of some kind. Yeah. A trafficking he's type like, thing. You know, it's an election cycle right now. This election's blockbuster. He's a marketing genius. Yeah. Right. I could, I could probably make a couple. Uh, I'm seeing the bag on the floor. I'm thinking about scooping that up. 
P. Diddy told his his ex-wife and all these people to accuse him of things. He's mm-hmm. like, all right, so here's what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. You're going to accuse me of some stuff that no one would ever want to be accused of, right? Yeah. And then I'm going to give you a lot of money, but I'll be in the news, and people will be like, I don't, you know, I, I wasn't, but, mm-hmm. you know. And then, like, I'll my name will get big. I just, I really, this is the most confusing shit. Do you do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean. Do you, do you know what's going on with P. Diddy? I mean, he's a freak, dude, for sure. Probably. But again, he's a sicko. Had, probably. <laughs> probably. A lot of cocaine too, dude. I could see that for sure. Just coke coke up the nose, dude. Do you, let's look up the drug mule since he's named Brendan. Look up P. Diddy drug mule. Let's find out about him. Because I wonder if anyone's done a deep dive on this man. P. Probably. Diddy Brendan. Yeah. Drug mule. The reason I found out about it is because some tweet, I was reading the tweet and it, it was like a quote of Diddy and it said something, something Brendan. I was like, what? This, okay. is, this is me. This kind of doesn't not look like me. He just has hair. <laughs> it looks like Patrick Riley with a big forehead. You think that looks like Pat Riley? Yeah, with the big forehead. I don't see it. Booking photos of Brendan Paul snapped in a South Florida jail Monday are a departure from the images shared on his public-facing Facebook profile <laughs> of life in the sphere of a celebrity. My- <laughs> the talking is so funny. Dude. <laughs> I'm the life of a celebrity. Everything changed for Brendan when he put cocaine in his butt. <laughs> This could have been me, dude. Yep. The Dade police arrested the 25-year-old at the Miami airport as he was about to board a private jet with Sean Diddy Combs. <laughs> Officers were working with Homeland Security when Nothing they found good cocaine ever happens and to people marijuana named Brandon. candy in Paul's bag, both felonies in Florida. Diddy was not Wait, arrested. Wait, can you rewind? Sorry, I talked over that. What did he put in his bag? Found cocaine and marijuana-laced candy <laughs> nice. in Paul's bag, <laughs> nice. both felonies in Florida. Diddy was not arrested, but the hip-hop mogul and some of his associates, including Paul, are named in this explosive lawsuit filed by Diddy's former producer, Rodney Jones. Jones levels accusations of sexual assault, drug abuse, sex trafficking, and other crimes. Both Jones and Paul worked on Diddy's most recent album, which Paul celebrated on social media in September. Court documents include some of those social media Those pants are wild, like big cargo pants? Mm Mm-hmm. Damn. That's too much. I mean... As, so, so being a drug guy for a music person, pretty standard. I imagine many people have a Brendan in mm-hmm. their crew, like the big musicians. That's not that surprising, right? I mean, Mark, Mark Harley essentially was that for Brendan, right? Mm-hmm. For Shab. I mean, you got if you're any if you're a musician of any kind, you're gonna have somebody like that, right? Yeah, that's not breaking news, really. I mean, I made foodie, and I'm already thinking about getting a guy. You know, for just for food? No, for drugs. <laughs> for drugs? Yeah, dude. You would relapse just so you could have somebody to get it, so <laughs> get stuff for you. I mean, I'm making music. I might as well have a drug mule. I, I mean, I don't do drugs anymore. Ever heard of it? I never have. Never. You never. I've never even met drugs. Not one of our guys. But um, like, it, the idea of having somebody. And they have the drugs, and then when they like, if they get caught, they take the the rap. Mm-hmm. Pretty great. Yeah, that's the be- that might be the best thought up scenario there is. But it sounds like maybe Brendan ratted on him or something. Well, same with uh, Shohei Otani. You heard about that, right? Oh yeah, I heard there's something about a betting. Like he bet on games, or, or his, his trainer bet on games or something. Right, but what, what do you know what happened or no? No. Okay, so. Follow, dude, follow along. I swear to God, if you ask me to backtrack, I'm going to fucking lose my shit right now, dude. Because it's not like, it's not easily to, uh, it's not easy to understand, right? Oh, it's not easy to understand. No. So, well, basi- before you say it then, bet on, let's, let's bet on my ability. To under- Will I get it the first try? No, you're not going to get it the first try because it's okay. a bit. You're going to act right. like you didn't get it. <laughs> I already know you do. All right, all right, no, go. I'll try very hard. Uh, okay, so Shohei Otani. Who is that? You know who that is, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, he ever heard of him? Yeah. He plays baseball for the Dodgers, right? Okay. Does he speak English? He doesn't speak English. He probably does, but like oh, okay. he's from Japan, right? I figured he did. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's, he was the biggest guy in Japan, and then he played for the Angels, Angels. right? And he he pit he pitches any hits. He's like the Babe Ruth of now. Yeah. Yeah. So, Babe Ruth salsa on him. When you don't speak that well of English, you need a what? Translator, right? Right. Boom. He has a translator. This guy uh, says that he racked up a debt, which that's questionable, right? People are basically insinuating that Shohei is probably betting. I think 
right? Yes. Okay, because the translator read. Okay. Yeah. I, okay, I get that. So the translator said publicly, like, he helped me pay off a debt that I got from gambling. Oh, uh, right? okay. Follow along. Right. Nice guy. Right? The translator said that. And yeah. then people were like, wait a minute, but that's fucking illegal. Dude, Shohei can't pay off your debts. What the fuck? He's a baseball player. He, oh, right. Because right? it could be, yeah. So they yeah. came back out and were like, our bad, dude. We were on fentanyl. We were fucking, we were out of our minds when we said that. You guys misunderstood. Lost in translation kind of. It thing. was my fault, dude. He had no idea. He, I stole the money from him, dude. The translator said he stole the money from... Right, but he's covering uh, up his tracks because he said, like, fine, he helped yeah. me just pay off the debt. Exactly. Okay. So now the translator's like... Did I he get fired? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't fucking work there, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, well, see, here's an example. So that, the way you explain it, great. You yeah. did a great job. I, I, when it, I went in there, I was like, Gerardo knows how to explain things. You wanted to not understand so bad, though. Yeah, I wanted to not understand so I could go douche you. <laughs> but that's what, that's what I'm saying. That story mm-hmm. is perfect. Yeah. It makes... Since I understand completely what happened, ESPN or whoever the sports journalists, they covered it well, right? So, I mean, well, they must have. And that's sad that sports journalism is so much better than regular journalism Mm. because sports journalism is the worst form of journalism there is. It's Mm. the most pointless and unimportant journalism there are. Most of the people that did it are fucking stupid as shit. They're like... You know, we're smarter than your average sports journalist is like, we're a thousand times smarter than they are. And so you're saying script news is like, uh, he put cocaine and marijuana <laughs> candy in his body. Yeah. Well, I, what I'm saying is like these these news stories explain nothing. You can't ever know whether it's true or not. Um, they don't cover the major points. Every time you click on a news article nowadays, instead of like them reporting what it is, it's like it starts off as some sort of profile where they're like, you, you like you'll click on like the bridge story. Right. To find out what's going on with the Baltimore Bridge, thinking they're going to tell you. But instead of that, you click on the story that says the like the bridge collapsed in Baltimore. And it's like Peter was drinking a cup of coffee this morning at 7 a.m. He was he was having a great he's a lawyer in downtown Baltimore. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Just tell me what happened in the story. I don't there's levels to this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you agree? You sound like Joe Rogan right now, dude. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to be more sort of like fix the culture through our podcast, right? Mm. You know, we're going to we're going to have on guests that challenge you what you think. Yeah. Right? Bulletproof Coffee, Gavin Alpha McInnes. Brain, Gavin McInnes, Andrew Tate, mm-hmm. um, fucking Haley Van Lith, mm-hmm. dude. Joey G- Diaz. Juju Watkins. Mm-hmm. Um, Ever heard of him? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have it all. But back to the P. Diddy. Yeah, fuck P. Diddy, dude. I, uh, for the most part, I'm, I've I've learned more about Drake versus uh, what's his name Kendrick oh, Lamar the big three or whatever. Yeah. I've yeah. learned more about that than Diddy fucking fondling on any everyone. Apparently he's just. It is funny that he's the diddler now instead of Chris D'Elia. Chris D'Elia was like yes. The big three. Maybe I'm just too old because the big three to me, like all three of those guys, like I think everyone when I was a kid is the, where they're wrapped is better than they are. Like I think every person, every person in Wu Tang Clan. Tupac, Biggie, every, all the both guys now cast like essentially every rapper from my childhood is better than all three of those guys. Yeah, in my mind, that's not even the argument though. I know, but to me, you like, can't that's just walk the big into three. a room and be like, "Do you think this wall should be green or blue?" You're like, "The whole thing should be red, dude." That, I mean, I could. It was the question was green <laughs> or blue though. <laughs> yeah, well, like I don't play by those rules, dude. All right, yeah. I'm different. All right, Dallas, my opinion is different. <laughs> it's like life or death, dude. If you don't answer this question with the next two seconds, I'm going to fucking die. I don't even think those three are like the best now. I'd pro- I I like Drake a lot, but I, I'd rather listen to the Migos than all three of those dudes. Yeah, but it's fun. Or, it's just fun to be like, uh, to choose a side, dude. My side is that this, the argument, the, the question is blog bussa. Kendrick Lamar is fine. And this also doesn't matter because like, I'm not even that big a rap guy. I like rap, but mm-hmm. I'm not... I'm not gonna be like coming on here and be like the real opinion. He's like nobody's days, like Bob Dylan, man. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny if I was like, first of all, <laughs> if you guys heard of Bob Dylan and I put on this and it's like lay, 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 lay across my big brass bed, and they're like, what the f- who is this guy? <laughs> um, no, I just don't come on up in blue. He's got a, he's got a few good songs. Uh, people love him, but I just don't see it. Oh, I, who Kendrick Lamar? Yeah. You're crazy, dude. You're I guess so. Fucking crazy. I mean, I just who is he better than from? Is he than from my generation? Almost no one. 
I'm, I it's, prefer ludicrous. That's saying that's like saying LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan. Nobody's going to agree with you, but they're, they're, right. they've never even played together. That's true. That no one's going to agree with me, or no one would agree with you because you'd be wrong. Michael Jordan is better. Well, no. The point is that they didn't play together. Yeah, because Michael Jordan would have smoked him. That's as soon as we so get a dumb. time machine, dude. As soon as we get a time machine, they're going to put LeBron back there. Michael Jordan's going to score a hundred thousand points on him in one game. LeBron James is forty years old now. <laughs> So what, dude? Time machine. All right. If they took a time machine and they put Kendrick Lamar back and my when I was a kid, they'd be like, who the fuck is this guy? Turn this shit off. Dude, you're the Play guy in the barbershop that has the beanie on the whole time and everyone's <laughs> arguing and you're talking and then they're like, dog, let's just cut his hair so he gets out of here. And then you take your beanie off and you're fucking bald, dude. The I would, whole time you just don't make sense. I would love to be the old guy in the barbershop. I hope, I mean, I just don't, I'm not, and there's no reason to be there anymore. Yeah. I guess I could get my beard cut up, but. Yeah, I would love... I mean, maybe that me and the old guy would get along. Maybe people should be listening to the old guy more, honestly. He knows what he's talking about. Sometimes the old guy in the barbershop is the funniest person. Who's there. winning, Drake or Kendrick? Wu-Tang! Exactly. I'm like, stop talking about bullshit. Put on fucking... What is it? 36 Chambers, whatever the fuck. Put that on. Stop talking. Let's all listen to it and get deep. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Was this shit. I'm not even... <laughs> I'm, I'm gaslighting the audience right now. Yeah. But it, you know, I just don't get it. But I do kind of want to, unless you have more to say, I do kind of want to hear more about Brendan. Oh, Brendan? <laughs> yeah. Those of Paul and Diddy together, the lawsuit <laughs> labels Paul as a mule who acquires and distributes <laughs> drugs and What guns. if you're labeled as a and mule for Jesus? <laughs> Hell no. That'd be wild. The lawsuit against Jesus Sepulveda labels Gerard, did they say your name wrong, Jared Alarcran <laughs> as a mule. Dude, I've been having some issues with people saying my fucking name wrong, dude. <laughs> it's it's now no longer the first name. Now people cannot cannot say my last name. Really? Yeah. Everyone's saying Alakaran. That's so weird. I always think it like Aller Alarcon is a name I feel like I've heard before I met you. Like it's not I know it's not the most common name, but I've definitely heard it before. Yeah, dude. There are other people named that. At least you're not named Young Miami. I'd rather be Young Miami than fucking Brendan Paul, dude. Brendan Paul, those are two names that they do typically become first or last names, but they don't belong yeah. together, dude. No, that is a, a interesting name. Yeah, I've, yeah. Heard, I've never heard of that before. Moy Bon? Yeah, you gotta. You always have to have Moy Bon. I will say Frankie Santella, dude. That's a fire-ass name right there. It's like a mafia name. Mm-hmm. Frankie Santella. He told me I got my fucking fit in all by 3 o'clock today. He's taking forever. Why is ensuring payment to sex workers and cash highlighted? Who does that? I don't know. Says he provided all cash those people? payments to sex It looks like it's Frankie, Moy, Brennan, and KK's job. Why do you need that many people? That's like the thick boy studio right there, dude. Well, have you met KK, dude? He's so untrustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> Too many cooks in the kitchen, if you know what I'm talking about. Don't get me started on Tark, dude. <laughs> yeah, Tark, dude. <laughs> That's my Diddy's boy. Behalf. And one witness described seeing Paul and others spiking champagne bottles with ecstasy. Paul and <laughs> the US I love how that. the the stuff that's highlighted is like way less important than the other stuff. Mr. Jones is approximately, approximately two feet away from the bathroom and gunshots <laughs> ring out. Who's Jones? <laughs> Who the fuck is Mr. Jones? <laughs> it's, it's right there, 35. And it's 35. That's the worst uh, bot comment ever. Dude. Oh, right. Yeah, that, that is funny. It's 35, it's dude. There you go. The cats were on this. He is a Philadelphia rapper. Oh, this is the this is the famous thing that they said uh, on their complaint. He is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Mickey Minaj. Oh, yeah. They, and then he is a Grammy Award winning R&B singer Red Trouble with law enforcement uh, assaulting a Bayesian. What's billion. a Bayesian? Why would they put that in there? What's a Bayesian billionaire? I don't know. A Bajan? I don't know. Bajan. Is that like... Uh, Bahan? Bahatan, what's Bahan, that? Bahan, Baja, California. What's that? Belize, maybe? Is that like a? Oh. How do you say Belize? No, but you would say Belizean, wouldn't you? Let me see here. Did Usher assault a billionaire? Apparently. Is, damn, dude. There's too many. See, once you start looking at this shit, there's just more and more questions. Bayesian. Um. Uh, barbarian. Barba Barbados. Barba or but wouldn't that be yeah. Barbadian? <laughs> That's definitely not another right. term for Barbadian. There you go. So that yeah. makes more sense. All right. So he assaulted uh, a barb. Somebody in Barbados. A, bar, a Bayesian billionaire. That You know what a Bayesian billionaire sounds like to me, besides Andrew Schultz. Um, what's her name? Rihanna, dude. She's like a billionaire and she's Bayesian. I, I always wonder what the BB stands for in BBL, dude. Big butt lift? Bayesian billionaire laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Bayesian billionaire lift? <laughs> yeah. You go to um, fucking Barbados to get your butt <laughs> lifted. 
Barbados, but ba- billionaire. <laughs> Damn, dude. If only we were good at Schultz. Yeah. Jones alleges Diddy was running a sex trafficking venture, and his associates, including Paul, <laughs> were aiding and abetting it. Paul graduated from Hawkins School and then briefly attended Syracuse University, where he played what? basketball. His bio Damn, there dude. listed his hometown as Shaker Heights and said he was made. What is it? What? Something about Shick Wrights? Shaker Heights in Ohio. That's where he's from. There listed his hometown as Shaker Heights. It sounded like she was laughing. That's why I was like, (laughs) Shaker Heights. Shaker Heights is where Kid Cuddy's from. Ever heard of him? Oh, my God. He was majoring in sports management. We visited the Chagrin Falls address listed as Paul's current home and arrest records. No one answered the door, but someone yelled (laughs) no comment through a window. The dog? The dog was was barking. (laughs) The dog was high on cocaine. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. He got into the bag. (laughs) (laughs) To Paul's attorney, who simply said, quote, we do not plan on trying this case in the medium. All issues will be dealt with in the court. The same day Paul was arrested, Homeland Security raided and took evidence from Diddy's Miami and Beverly Hills homes. He has denied Jones' If they allegation. raided Shab's house, can you imagine how many shoes that they'd have to take out? Insane. Just so many shoes. So many. And they're all like, why are these shoes wet? Why is there one shoe here and one on the wall? <laughs> like every room has a favorite shoe. Shab's like, wait, wait, wait. That, that one's my favorite shoe, actually. <laughs> they're like, we do not care which one is your favorite. But you guys should know. Like, all right, which one's your favorite shoe, Brendan? The fours on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> get him, get him out of here. Northeast Ohio based collaborative get him to out of here. <laughs> weighed in on the situation, telling yeah, us he's got so many quote, bad every photos time him, human trafficking photos. is in the news, it is a reminder that victims are exploited every day. It you know what's funny is that <laughs> if you were to talk to like Diddy today, he'd be like, yeah, dude, I had a lot of fun. He still sees it as fun. Yeah. He's like, yeah, dude, being a fucking famous was awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Diddy, but you shouldn't have done any of that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he's probably had a lot of... He obviously doesn't understand right and wrong. Yeah. 100%. He had a lot of sex parties. Like, he sees them as sex parties. Mm. Other people see them as him forcing them to have sex with people in a, something that he called a party. Mm-hmm. It's, fu- it's not funny, but it, the, what's funny about it is that he had the reputation of being this guy that was like telling people what to do all the time, right? Because of making the band like go out and give me a sugar cookie or yeah. whatever he does. Yep. And then Dave Chappelle did the sketch. Was, I'm shutting the studio down, y'all. And so like that, that like commentary on real life was actually more accurate than we all had thought. Mm-hmm. Every time someone is satirized like that, where they're sort of like evil or powerful. They end up being really bad. We should that should be like a warning sign now for when there's stuff like because same thing happened with Entourage. There's a character in Entourage that's like Harvey Weinstein, and he's a total asshole in it. And we're all laughing. Oh, that's so funny. Harvey Weinstein's a jerk. Actually, if you can make something where someone's a total jerk, that might be a red flag, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If someone is treating everyone horribly, they may actually be doing that, and maybe they shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Boom. Schooled him. You could have said anything you wanted to right now, dude, but all you did was fucking spit facts. (laughs) (laughs) There's levels to the shit, bro. You know, know, Duran, TikTok, Instagram. (laughs) Where? The connection to Northeast Ohio in these specific allegations. He's like, my parties were so dope. It's all over the news now, dog. That's how (laughs) these parties was so long. He doesn't get it. Somebody's sitting him down like, did he know what you did was wrong? Give me some fucking (laughs) chicken, man. He, I like that the, this idea of Diddy because it's so opposite of what R. Kelly. Remember the R. Kelly mm. interview? He's like, they're trying to take my life away, man. <laughs> yeah. P. Diddy doesn't get it. He's just like, I had a really good time. Yeah. Remember when I kept playing the the Cassie song and I would like look at you like I was P. Diddy? Yeah. Was they didn't think that was a good bit though, right? Uh, I was in the middle of telling you something. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing bits while I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can. I you can't find play it. it on the show, though. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. That, it's going to sound weird now. The way <laughs> you just, just described it is very strange, like no context. But I had this idea that there's a great song. I don't even know if I should admit, but there's a great song. And I hope I I feel, let me, let me preface this by saying what happened is terrible. In no way do I think what happened is funny. If, if, if allegedly what happened is, and, you know, I hope Cassie's okay. But um, what I was doing is she has a great song called Me and You. And it starts off kind of creepy, I think, in a way. It goes like, bing, 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 bing. I would just play it, and then I would stare at you like I was P. Diddy. 
I thought that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> but you also asked me like, tell me about some of the most dramatic things that ever happened to you. And then you started doing this bit, dude. <laughs> when I'm halfway through telling you about my dad and my mom. And shit. <laughs> oh man. I sound like the character. I was just, <laughs> yeah, dude. dude, I'm fucking that guy. <laughs> Investigate. Let's see. Oh, fucking your computer, dude. You guys can't, you can't cancel that shit, Dee Dee. Remind us that it happens here, too. <laughs> dude, I let, it makes me laugh that Northeast Ohio is catching strays because of this guy, Brendan Paul. Yeah. Any Anybody named Brendan is going to ruin their hometown. Yeah. Someday Arlington, Arlington's already, you said the people there are ugly because of me. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do? It's right next to Fairfax County. Nothing good comes from there, no, dude. No, you get a bunch of uh, donks and blockbuster people like blue shorts. Mm-hmm. Is that human trafficking is solvable. Right now, Paul is scheduled to appear on those criminal charges in Miami in late April. In civil court, Jones is asking for at least $30 million in damages against Diddy and all of his associates. I'm Catherine Ross reporting. I'm a bed bug and I'm out. Yeah, this is a blog busser, dude. Yeah, man. So you think he's guilty? I don't care. Yeah. I mean, dude. It doesn't really affect your life. It's like, well, okay, yeah, he's going to go to jail for what? Like six months, dude? Who gives a shit, dude? Yeah, and then he's going to get killed in jail because he'll, like, testify against stronger people. And people will be like, oh, yeah, man, we tried to keep him alive, but the guards we hired, they didn't have enough rain, energy, drink. It's just like they do plugs yeah. during the thing, the news. The news is like, we tried to get him to, you know, we put him under high security to make sure he didn't kill himself, but the guards didn't get the alpha brain that they normally take and so they fell asleep. You know how you said that like there's no good rappers now and shit and you're like it might. No, I didn't say there's no good rappers now. I said those three are fine. They're just not as good as when I was when you a were child, younger. the other. Which I'm sure plenty of young people will gadoosh me for. I don't really care. It's just one man's opinion. But what I'm trying to say is uh you know how you said that that they're not as good as the people back in the day. The yeah. only thing that's really gotten better is like people's crimes. Like they're doing the most <laughs> sh- like crazy shit, dude. Yeah, I guess so. Like, I mean, like rappers uh, or any rappers, fucking famous people, YSL type shit, that stuff. Right? They're they're saying that YSL is like a gang or whatever. Yeah, like um, a Rico charge shit. Who else? Like fucking the British drill rap people going to jail. Like fucking I didn't even hear about stabbing that. people up and shit. Well, that's happened more recently, like a f- further back, but yeah, just just like Harvey Weinstein, dude, like crazy. It's there's much more dangerous to be a rapper now than it was when I was a kid, and they're worse at it, which mm-hmm. is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's a, they're just not they're not that good, but they're also more violent and scary. Why is that? Yeah, but imagine the first time hearing a knock knock joke, and you're like, "What the fuck, dog? This is the funniest thing of all time." <laughs> Compared to like somebody telling a knock knock joke now, you're like, "All right, dude, I get it, Olive. I love you, whatever." Right? You got to do a different kind of knock knock joke or a different joke in general. Yeah. Right. And it's not always going to be as good as the original knock knock. Is that what you're mm-hmm. saying? Yeah, like the first one to ever happen. There's a reason why we still got it to, to this day, dude. First time a chicken crossed the road, somebody was like, "What?" I mean, I'm not even really being that serious. But I haven't really given it much thought. Like, who's the best rapper or whatnot? I'm just that was just like my first thought or whatever. But I like your idea of like they're much more the the crimes coming out are crazier than yeah. they used to be. Because yeah, like. I, even though P. Diddy is kind of from my generation, like he's in that, mm-hmm. he was like Biggie's guy or whatever. So, but, but now, like back in the day, if a rapper was killed, it was like huge news, right? Like when Tupac and Biggie got killed, that's like for years, it's still going on reporting it. But nowadays, they get killed all the time. It's like every other day, there's a story about someone getting stabbed and then they're, now there's like Rico charge going on and all that stuff. It's like, what are we doing here? Mm-hmm. I, don't I don't know. Couldn't have said it better myself, Diddy. We got, we got voicemails up in there. Here, I think we have a couple voicemails. Let me see here. Pull it up, Chan. It feels like we haven't recorded in fucking forever. I know. Dude. I know. It's been. It has. It's been longer than usual. Um. So if you guys want to leave us a voice, we only got one today. But okay. If you guys want to leave us a voicemail, it's at seven seven five. Five five seven eight six six seven. That's seven seven five 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 seven. Timos, and you can leave us a voicemail just like these. Oh my god! I think I'm turning Shabanese. I think I'm learning Shabanese. I really think so. I'm learning Shabanese. I think I'm turning Shabanese. I really think so. Look at you guys! It's the return of the short king. 
Thanks for that nickname, Gerardo. Uh, I'm a little late on this one, but I'm just calling to say that I have for sure never gotten my hair cut by the same person oh, more than once. Now, I'm not going into a barbershop and saying, work your magic on me, do whatever you want to. <laughs> Both but, ways. like, I just, I just go wherever, whenever I need a cut. And, yeah, uh, I'm 6'2", so I'm not really the short king, but if I keep it, if I keep going longer, I'm just going to get more and more redacted when I make the call, so... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Pizza boy. Good. Pizza that's, boy. That's funny. So on the, the haircut thing, he doesn't go to the same person, but he also doesn't just go do your thing. It's a secret third option that yeah. you're doing, right? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. No, I mean, I still just, you know what? I've, I've honestly been thinking about this. You know what I mean? So I got a new apartment, right? Yeah. Pretty close to uh, Tacoma now. I moved a little way from uh, Seattle. So just a little bit outside of Tacoma, nearby Seattle, somewhere in that area, right? Right. Down the street from me, let's say Olympia, right? Uh, there's a fucking nice little barbershop, dude. And every time I pass by, I fantasize about going in there and being like, listen, I don't know how to do this, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to probably start crying and shit and be like, I love you guys already. The vibe, the, you know, I've been staking you guys out for a minute here. Okay. Right? Weird start. Yeah. So don't start like that. No. Damn. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm saying weird start if you actually were to do that. I like it for the show, listening to it. Oh, okay. Well, let's start over then. So I see this place all the time. I'm, apparently, I'm not supposed to be honest with about, about fantasizing to go there all the time, <laughs> you know? Right. Uh, I start, I drive by. I, I like the fucking decal they got out front, right? Mm-hmm. We cut hair, whatever it says, right? It's just like, I don't want to give away my fucking blow up my spot, dog. Okay. But it's a cool little We decal. cut hair. <laughs> yeah, let's just say it's called We Cut Hair. All right. WCH, dude. The basics. Fancy ass letters, right. dude. It's got the little fucking. We Cut Hair by Jamal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's got the nice little parlor fucking spinny thingies. Oh, sure. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to walk in there and be in. Dude, because I can't do it how I always do it. You guys are fucking, I can't be myself, apparently. Nobody wants me to be me. No, definitely not. In this in this scenario, please be someone else that knows what they want, and once they get a good haircut, get his phone number. I had this argument with my girlfriend, too. You'll never take away the do your magic thing. I'm going to let somebody do that. I'm just going to fucking go back to them every time, though. Yeah. Okay, sorry. What were you saying to your girlfriend? She was like the same. She like lost her um, hairstyle. So I was like, you don't have their phone number? She's like, no, she's at the salon. I always go there. I'm like, get their phone number. I don't know why I have to tell these the people in my life. Get the phone number of the person cutting your hair. It's very simple. Mm. But continue. Okay, so I'm going to have him work his magic at least once and then just take a picture and be like, do this again. That makes sense too. And it starts with them working their magic first though, dude. Definitely take a picture if you like the haircut so you can show uh, other barbers, this is what I like. You don't think I take selfies, daddy? <laughs> yeah, you probably, right. there you go. You take enough selfies, just look through yourself. Oh, this is when it was good. Show it to the barber. Then you don't even need to have their number, but you should. Mm. So I walk in. First of all, I drive by every day, literally. So there we go. Right. Relationship started. Hello. How's it going? My name is Gerardo, right? Right. I walk in. I can't stay silent. That's what I always do when I go to a barbershop. I stay silent. Mm -hmm. And I just sit there. And they're like, do you have an appointment? I'm like, no. I'm walking in, dude. Uh Oh. Well, make an appointment. Mm. Problem solved. Baby steps. (laughs) So I'm in there. I'm not going to be silent. I'm going to be like... They're going to be arguing about MJ versus LeBron. I'm going to be like, well, nobody's talking about Kobe. And boom. Now I'm already going to stand out, right? So you're going to do my thing. Basically, put a third option, <laughs> yeah. even though you get douche me earlier. No, Come I on, did man. it on purpose right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to fully act like an asshole yeah. in there like me. And then they're, but, they're, but that's a good debate. Not like fucking Wu-Tang versus Drake and Kendrick, first of all. Yeah. Well, I mean, that that's not something I would bring up. Not, as, not looking like me. <laughs> <laughs> This is something I would secretly think. Yeah. Every time that you guys, like, especially the Bellflower, when you guys were talking about it, in my head, I was like, I don't care about any of those three Jagoffs. Okay, yeah. You know? We were talking about it there. Yeah, you were like, the um, Jesus and Christian. Jesus talks about it a lot. They were like, dude, I heard, and about the boon, and like, and Kendrick, and their shit. I was like, oh, it doesn't even sound like they were really shitting on each other, really. He was like, there's no big three, there's just big me. First of all, that's not that great a lyric. And that's not that big a diss. Well, you haven't heard it in the song. It hits hard, dude. Okay, well, I'll have to take your word for it because yeah. I have no interest in listening to it. Motherfucker, that big three. Motherfucker, it's just big me. Yeah. Boom, and then He's, the fucking... He sounds like an alien when mm. he ramps. Anyways, let's do what's fucking important here. My hair is growing by the second, okay? Yeah. 
Something you wouldn't know. What it, uh, no, I lost that privilege a long time ago. <laughs> Thanks for rubbing it in, deity. <laughs> so I go in there. I have to start talking, whatever. If they're not arguing, I'll just ask how somebody's mother is or something like that. Right. right? Um, and then be like, do I know you? And be like, well, now you do. Name's Gerardo. Something along those lines. Yeah. Listen. And then as soon as they know my name, I've got to connect that name to an issue, problem. They got to solve it. Who's solving it? They are. I don't know fucking barbers, dude. I don't like you guys. I don't like you people, right? You don't like barbers. Mm-mm. Okay. I did, but your boy's changing, dude. They're a people for you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Sorry. I fucked up. <laughs> what, what, did you, what did you say? Oh, they say? It sounds like barbers to you are a necessary evil. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wish the world would just walk around with fucking Jesus locks, dude, honestly, but it's fine. I have no idea what that means, but I keep going. Just long hair, dude. No barbers. Let's stop cutting this shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so I tell him, all right, listen, issue is I don't know any barbers. I never had one. There's no fucking bad blood here, dude. Mm-hmm. Like look, you look, you look fresh. Hopefully they look fresh. And then I'll feel it won't be lying to them. Right. Right. I like what you got going on upstairs. Uh huh. You know, Hey, I'm not going to see anything downstairs, not until we, you know, take you to dinner for something like that. Funny. Sure. Be funny, right? Uh-huh. Because then when they ask you, what do you do? I'm a comedian. It makes sense now. They, he fucking threatened to suck my cock a little bit earlier, right? Right. So that was a joke probably. Like, oh, you're like that guy, Brennan Shaw. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Yes. Because okay. you got to build tension, yeah. sexual tension, and release yeah. it with laughter. How else can you build tension way out being gay? Exactly. You know, saying someone's gay or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's how guys talk, dude. And maybe I do see what's happening downstairs. I'm here to party, dude. I'm P Diddy, dog. Right? Mm-hmm. Right. Consent only, right? Nothing yeah. crazy, right? P sure. Diddy went off the rails, all right? Right. Uh, next thing you know, I'm in a fucking chair talking to him. That's the thing. Whatever I do after entering that barbershop, I got to start talking, dude. I don't talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, even if there is no fucking cookie cutter icebreakers that he's going to be throwing my way. I'm going to be throwing them back at him, dude. Right. Be like, so how long have you been doing this for? The most hacky questions. Whatever. Just to say something. I don't talk to barbers, dude. Yeah. I would I would say that is no to all of that. Mm. You go in there. <laughs> can't you, talk? No. Nah, you can talk if you want. That's fine. But you go in there and you say, hi, uh, name is Gerardo. I This is what I, this is the cut I cut I normally like. You show them a picture. Can you do that cut? And then they do the cut. And then if it's like what you show them, you go, thank you so much. Um, can I get your number next time if I want to, you know, get this haircut again? And they'll be like, oh yeah, cool. And then you get it and then you, that's it. Jesus Christ. So simple. There's I'm no just fixing fun, life, dude. dude. Every time you come on here, I fix your life and it's like, I'm not, I'm just, I'm the one whose life's broken. You should be helping me. Can I ask you a word that involves three que- three uh, words, dude? Can Maybe. I can you? you? <laughs> can I I'm you? not sure after what you just said. <laughs> 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 where's the passion dude where's the passion yeah i don't i just don't think you need passion just going there deflated haircut. like i want this can you they're gonna think i'm autistic dog. <laughs> i don't know i have nothing wrong with problem. that <laughs> yeah thanks for clarifying we have what about our listeners on the spectrum which i'm, I'm sure we have many um well but, i'm waiting in line trying to get on that bitch you know what i mean you think we'd have more voicemails yeah dude you, we would have more voicemails. yeah yeah I mean, that's so funny. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> no, but seriously though, dude, I'm, I got to do it my way or the highway, dude. And before I was trying to be something else. Now I'm trying to be me. When I go into a barbershop, I'm trying to be cool. Fuck that. I don't need to be cool. Cool is not a guy that's just quiet in the side waiting to say, work your magic, dude. That's not cool anymore to me. Yeah. I mean, you can go in there and talk as much as you want. I mean, people talk in the barbershop. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But the other part you definitely should do. The part I just said. Oh, well, I mean, I'll do that in my own way, dude. Yeah. As long as you get the the number. I'm like, I've become like militant <laughs> about this. I was like yelling at my girlfriend about it. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I have her Instagram. I was like, it's not enough. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. Am I going over the line? Now I'm like Gerardo on the other side of this. <laughs> in a perfect world, dude, I walk into that barbershop and I see a dude with good hair I want. And I go, copy paste, baby. That's all That's I got to say. That's not bad either. Like, I kind of like his cut. Mm-hmm. And then if he hears me like a compliment, mm-hmm. you know, and then, then they do that. I'm like, I know your ball's deep in this guy's haircut right now, but can I step it to the side real quick? I love your hair. Can you come mine? <laughs> do you know how much I'd love to do that? I mean, I wouldn't have any kind of social problem with that at all. If I had hair, I'd just be like, hey, give me that guy's shit. That looks good. <laughs> I don't care if he's watching or what. Like, do that. The guy's probably like, thanks. Because yeah. it was me and someone's like, give me that guy's shit. 
I'm like, I wouldn't because I'm bald and it would be obviously making fun of me. <laughs> yeah. Like, give me that guy shit. And everyone's like, just kidding. Everyone laughs. <laughs> or something. All, honestly, to get a laugh in a barber shop, all you have to do is be like, give me his shit. And then everyone will start laughing because I'm bald. D80. So I got to take you the first time, make everyone my friend. And then, yeah, I can be an audience plant for there you. There you go. I'll do that. And then you, you could leave right away. Cause yeah, I will leave because my feelings will be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I am like a plant. Damn, dude. All right. Well, thank you for that voicemail. Mr. Yeah. I don't um, think there's any reviews, right? Let me check. Cause, uh, so funny, dude, after the show, uh, I was having people join our podcast app. No reviews. No reviews. Oh, uh, well, I told them too. I was like, can you please leave a review and say something like Gerardo sex or something? Oh, really? really? At the yeah. show? Yeah. No, good. Good work. Well, you tried. That's mm-hmm. what the most important thing is trying. Yeah. Got to get yourself out there, B. And then this one guy started showing me, uh, videos of uh cars and i was like this is the most boring shit i've ever seen and he had bad <laughs> connection the to the that's internet the too it's modesto dog. that's what yeah. it is yeah yeah when you're dealing with people in modesto you, you're like can you write a review and they're like hey man i'm gonna can i get some money my teeth fell out you're like fuck dude <laughs> <laughs> and on that note wait what was the thing you said about teeth falling out? oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. reminds me i yeah i was bored and briefly in palm springs and I was started responding to advertisements and there was one thing about a machine that cleans your retainer and I just wrote this made my teeth fall out and I got a, I got a response from somebody who just read it. So I love shitting on those stupid advertisements, man, because they piss me off. I don't want to. I've never bought anything on Instagram, dude. Seven days a week. Don't sell me your pants. I'm so tired of like things where women are like, these pants get you fucked or this this t-shirt makes you look jacked even if you're fat and disgusting. Mm. I hate that shit and I hate that it's advertised to me. Man. It bothers me. What you need to do is some ayahuasca daddy and chill the fuck out, dude. I'll probably. I mean, just listen to this shit. If I, I don't know if ayahuasca would help, but I'm down. <laughs> if I go to a barbershop and walk out without a black eye, dude, you got to do some ayahuasca daddy. It'd be funny if we went to a barbershop and they we did the ayahuasca there. Is <laughs> yeah, there Peru? Just at some fucking barbershop. It says yeah. we cut hair outside of it. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it exists, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you next week.